a flurry of gaffes, policy missteps, and scandals has buffeted Brazil's months-long interim government, weakening temporary head of state Mitchell Tamer in his struggle to stay on. Tamer, 75 years old, was vice president until May 12, when he took over from Dilma Rousseff, who was suspended to face an impeachment trial on charges of taking unauthorized loans to patch budget holes. In the most deadly blow so far, Attorney General Rogel Janot is seeking the arrests of former President Jose Sarney, former planning minister and current senator Romeo Juga, lower house speaker Eduardo Gunha, and Senate head Renan Gilhelos for obstruction of corruption probe, according to local reports. A little bit earlier, Tamer dropped from his cabinet Romeo Juga, a key figure in getting austerity measures approved by Congress, and the minister in charge of fighting corruption Fabiano Silveira, after leaked recordings suggested they had tried to derail the investigation centered on state oil company Petrobras. <laughs> Besides for the cabinet tomorrow, Tamer faces a mixed start in the economic field. For two years, the largest economy in Latin America has been mired in its worst recession since the 1930s. Currently with 11 million unemployed and inflation running over 9%. Tamer's government is believed to shift towards more market-friendly policies, and Congress has signaled willingness to approve tough measures to control spending in order to cover a fiscal deficit that could top 10% of GDP. Meanwhile, the government looks determined to reform the generous pension system, the biggest item weighing on the official accounts. 面对经济衰退，财政和就业形势严峻恶化的形势啊，巴西需要展开一场经济改革，而控制呃引发财政赤字的公共开支将是政府的优先议题。Another thing can't be neglected is the Olympic Games to be inaugurated in Rio on August 5th, the first in Latin America, which are prepared on all fronts but still short of satisfaction. In addition. Brazil is obsessed with the outbreak of Zika, the mosquito-borne virus that has been linked to a surge in the birth defect known as macrocephaly. The cases of people infected with Zika virus in Rio have dropped significantly in recent weeks and will be close to zero in August and September when the Olympic and Paralympic Games are held, Olympic health officials promised. 特别本月七号召集部分内阁部长讨论里约奥运会的里约奥运会和残奥会的筹备工作，表示政府全力支持赛事的举办，因为奥运会的成功就是发起的成功。To make things worse, Rousseff's impeachment trial will run into Rio Olympics, according to the original calendar, which says August the 16th as the deadline for ending the trial. The impeachment has become an election between Rousseff and Tamer, or their parties. Earlier this week, the first major sampling of public opinion since Rousseff's suspension, the CNT-MDA poll, showed that only 11.3% of Brazilians approved the interim government, while 28% disapprove. In addition, 50.3% of Brazilians favor holding new elections this year to resolve the political crisis, with 20% thinking that two-time President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva should take over the reign of their ravaged country. Rousseff said on June 9th that she will call for an early election if she survives the impeachment.